Hey guys, D.W. Berman here, and I'm f continuing to work on a personal side project of mine where I'm kind of doing like a cartoony kind of thing that involves a bridge of a spaceship. And uh, so here's a early test render, and this is not what I'm intending the thing to actually look like, but you can see I just have a simple drawing I made and just pasted it on some simple geometry. So I'm going to show you how... And, you know, there's some areas like in here that need to be cleaned up. But I, I'm just going to show you how I'm doing this and cutting up the geometry in order to uh, map this image on there. This works for this, and it works. It can work for some 2.5D projects uh, since we don't have modeling in layout. Um, you can kind of use some of these techniques to help, you know, make simple geometry, put put photographs on simple geometry to give you enough parallax to make the illusion look like it's uh, actually in 3D space. So here's my image. Um, this is UV mapped already, so if I move this around, the, the image goes with it. What I want to do is I want to slice this up a bit and move things around so that... Um, so that it, we actually have some depth to this. Uh, and I'm using... And because it's UV mapped, I am going to be uh, doing things with like the drill drill tool and the knife tool and something tools that keep the UV map um, intact. Because some some tools in Lightwave will screw up the UV map. So first thing I want to do is I want to just do Command K, and I'm just going to knife through here on the origin line. And there we go. I'm going to actually copy this bottom piece here, and I'll paste it back here in another layer, just so I have that door to slide inside the other door. Okay, so now I can actually just grab this point here, uh, Command G to select the points, and T for move, and I'll just move it up here, and hey, there we have the floor. Now, of course, it'll uh, need to be painted over. I'm just going to hit the V key to yeah, there we go. Now it's on the thing. the V key to set the value. So there's that. Now um, I'm probably going to make more geometry than I need doing this process, but whatever. I'm just going to slice through here so I get the tops of those doors. I need to clean up this drawing in Photoshop anyway, but there's that. Um, I'll do the same thing over here. And I may need to clean this up a little more later as well in the model. If let me click on this little button here to make this window full size. So uh, there's that door frame, and there's this door frame. I'm not going to be super exact because I can actually move things around, move the texture around in the UV editor if I need to. So there's this. The main thing is, in this one, is I want the doors to slide back. Or I, I want... I need to show that there's actually space, you know, that behind this wall that goes into the, the door areas. And this is hopefully a, intentionally a comical piece, although who knows if I'll be entirely successful with the comedy. I think it'll work. Anyway, I also need to separate this desk out um, from the wall. So I think I'll just copy this. I think I'll just copy this to another layer and cut it up and, and work in it in another layer. So I, I don't... It doesn't have to actually be attached to the wall in, you know, Lightwave in 3D space. So let me just cut through here, and like I said, I'll use the UV map to actually straighten out the, the lines. So I'll cut there, and I will cut here. Now I drew all these little circles here on this grid for this other thing, but I might just use that the piece I made for the other model. Oh, and I want to do another edge there. Okay. So now let's uh, get rid of this and this, and I will slide. You know, I you're the you're, the temptation is always to just kind of grab these points and slide them in, but you notice because it's UV mapped, I can't do that. Texture slides with it. So let's zoom in here, 
I have one on that side and then one on this side. And I'll have to use the edge tools and light wave to kind of fudge over that. So there's our console. Let me put the background panel in the... Well, let me uh, shift click on this thing so I have both in at the same time. Now I will lasso around those points or around that polygon for that desk and I will just slide it out until it's at an angle that I think is appropriate. You know, I don't want these... Uh, these images are squished, so um, they should look okay in some perspective. There's a point at which they will look too stretched, and I want to avoid that. But if we're looking at it from certain angles, it's not going to be a problem. But There we go. We'll make that our desk. Now, like I said, I can actually uh, work with the UV map to actually put the, the lines into position. So let's do that now. I'll even click off the background layer so things are more clear. So let me zoom in on here. If I just uh, control T to click and drag, I can control T. There we go. Make sure things are deselected. I'm going to change my grid size. Does that matter? No. Anyway. D for display options, units, grid snaps. I'll turn that to fine. Some people like it off completely. So let's just kind of move this around. Hold down Alt and click and drag to move. Control T for drag. And there we go. If you notice in our viewport here, you should see things starting to line up a bit more. So now our geometry here in the, our, our regular view is not moving, so it's still a flat, straight line across. However, in our UV map, it's now a crooked line. Now I will also want to do a couple more slices in here. I'll just do them between the panels. Now I can take these. Ooh, let me go into my viewport options. Let me see if I can upload or increase the texture resolution a bit and see if that helps. Not exactly sure where the uh, image resolution for UV text. I guess that answers the question. The top, uh, the UV map texture resolution is taken care of in the backdrop panel. Okay, that's good to know. So now I can drag this up so that it's in the lines. Let's do the same over here. And we're kind of straightening out the lines, which isn't entirely a great thing because, you know, some of the charm of it is actually having uh, squiggly lines. But at the same time, we don't want to have a white edge on our polygon. Um, I can also possibly just select this top edge here and shift E, nope, just hit E for ex extended, extender deluxe, whatever. Bring that up. Um, you see it actually stretched the, the UV map. So let's uh, kind of click and drag in the UV editor as well. Just kind of want to round this out a little bit. I know I didn't explain very well why I did that, but hey, this is a free video that I'm just kind of recording as I go. So there's a panel I will want to um, say, I will want to close this off actually. However, maybe I'll just use the th new thicken tool. Modify, let me hit save anyway. Good, good idea to save once in a while. So construct or multiply, or multiply, extend, Thicken. Let's go that way. There, now we have a tool. You notice that the sides are a little screwed up with the UV map. So that's kind of to be expected. They actually, I don't think they actually are UV mapped. So uh, these new surfaces, let's just select them all 
and we will UV map them. So under the map tab, let's go to make UVs. And I'll just, I guess, do Z, create. See what that looks like. You notice that there this huge box around the outside. Yeah, that's that's the actual thing I UV'd. So let's turn free move off, and I'll suck these sides in. That didn't entirely work. Did I get not get that. I want to get these top points. Okay. Now that did not work. <laughs> oh, okay. I think I need to actually uh, not do free move on that case and deselect these. There we go. Basically, I just want to shrink this whole part down. Looks like I need to do the same. I'm not, again, I'm sorry I'm not explaining this better, but basically I'm just making sure that there's a paper texture on this, uh, these end caps, even though we might not see some of it. And uh, this is all in a straight line here along this top, whereas I actually want uh, it to be sticking out a bit. <coughs> Sorry about that. So T, let's move that in. Nah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 is that something I don't want to do? That looks like something I don't want to do. Yeah, that was something I didn't want to do. Okay. Yeah, that bottom, that edge there is fine. It's these, these other ones that were bothering me. Okay. I mean, it's, we're just going to have to cover the, the edges with the edges in Lightwave, but for, at least it won't be a blank or won't have stretches on it. So there's that. I will just take these other pieces here from the other object. Um, as far as this backdrop, I can probably just cut these, paste, and move them back a bit. I will, of course, have to fill in the sides and, you know, actually put stuff in there. And uh, let me see. Here's what I was going to use for the door. I can actually just kind of trace around the door. It's like, how do I want to do this? But anyway, that's the general idea. I'm just kind of cutting pieces out and extruding pieces and doing all that stuff to just kind of give us a bit of dimensionality to our otherwise flat artwork. So let me just turn that stuff off. Well, just go to regular texture wireframe and under the image editor, I will set my, I'll reset my image. So there you go. That's just kind of a basic, again, I'll probably alter this end cap here and have to build some more into the background there but that's the general idea of simply mapping uh, mapping simple artwork onto thing. I'll have to make alternate versions of the image texture that you know don't have the stuff painted on the background wall. I'll have like you know I'll have to separate out the uh, the panels and stuff for uh, the different parts so yeah, there you go. I'll leave it there. It's been about 15 minutes. So thanks for watching. I hope this has been uh, somewhat helpful and enlightening. And um, subscribe to this channel if you like. Once in a while I get a video up. Hopefully it's helpful. Uh, check out liberty3d.com for great tutorials on Lightwave and other packages. I sell some tutorials there, and those tutorials are nicely edited and uh, a little more thought through than this demo here was. So uh, 
again, this is just kind of a quick promotion thing that I like to do, um, but I don't like spending a lot of time on them. So uh, the full actual videos I do spend more time on. So thanks for watching, and have a great day.